Yeah, I, I understood the ski part. J j just the ski part. Yeah. Um, so, sorry? Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. I've been, I, I've been trying, like, the, after talking with Marco, like, uh, he had a talk uh, with his family. Uh, we live together. He had uh, talks with his family in Portuguese, and there's like not a single word that I could understand. The same for him. Uh, the same thing was for him when I uh, was on the video uh, call with my family. Like Milan, not a single word. So yeah, yeah. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I think um, I promised myself that in this half of the year, first half of the year, I'm not going to give a, a work camp talk. At all. I wanted to prepare, uh, because I'm focusing right now, I'm switching from uh, team review team, WordPress, uh, WordPress team review team to community team, so I promised myself that I won't do the talk. And then I got a call for, uh, I, I saw the call for uh, speakers for the Lisbon, and I had to do it. So this is the only talk that I'm giving this half of the year. Um, this is the song that got stuck in my mind uh, when, uh, when I was preparing the talk and everything but that the shape of you won, and I, I just can't stop clapping. So yeah, um, uh, dreams do come true. I promised Marco that I'll be uh, coming to Portugal, and uh, I'll be visiting uh, your beautiful, beautiful country. And um, as a kid, I had two favorite, two favorite countries. It was Portugal and then Malta. Recently, I found out that Malta, they're driving on the left-hand left side. Like, it's not a dream country for me at all. Like, right, right now, like, we're done. So right now, it's just Portugal. So dreams do come true. Dreams do come true. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, got, I, I got in the community, uh, I got in the community by um, Marco. Marco helped me a lot, and uh, it was 2013, and I had no idea about the community. You'll, you'll see that slide as well. Um, and we talked a lot, and uh, the first work camp that I attended was the one in Leiden in 2013. And, I saw this small group of uh, people laughing and sharing, like the, uh, they're constantly uh, hang, hanging and making jokes, like they, the Portuguese, you were like a pretty much organized volunteer, you were like all over the place. And from Serbia, it was like just one of two of us there, maybe three, but he left early, so it's <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so, um, and then I was like, Okay, so this, this is super awesome because we had no community at all in Serbia, WordPress community at all. And um, I got into WordPress in 2000, late 2007, 2008, but until 2013, the year that I just mentioned, I have no idea about the community. I was looking for one, but yeah, still couldn't, still couldn't find. I'm just gonna move the cursor. So everything pretty much started in Oslo uh, when we worked for a company called Metronet. Uh, Marco joined a couple of weeks later, and I had the first community, what is work camp, what is work camp? and uh, what is uh, pretty much community, all the community stuff. So he was telling about, hey, just to know we have this community, there's an organization, there's a lot of things, and yeah, Jackie Chan, yeah, I was like, my, mind blown. Like, I had no idea what it is, to be honest. And um, the, first, the first work camp that I attended, 2013, and uh, yeah, it, it, it started like this, like, hey, Marco, from the beginning, tell me what is the what is the work camp. So he explained everything in detail. Thank you so much. And yeah, it, it, you know, it, 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 it was it was uh, so cool. Let's say so cool. And I couldn't find anything better than cool. But yeah, bear with me. Um, so it, it was so cool, and it was so much fun. And um, I think that that's the only work camp that I attended all the sessions that I could. Like I was there, like uh, not networking, have no time, need to go to the session and um, um, learning, learning all the stuff, and the first contributor's day, it's the photo that I'm super proud. I think that I, can you see me on this photo? You can't, because this laptop over here, <laughs> this guy, my laptop, my laptop over there. So uh, that's the first time that I actually saw the WordPress in Serbian. Uh, we spent a couple of hours um, fighting about how some things are translated. Uh, that's the first time that I found out about uh, uh, the polyglots, but how everything started. Uh, started we are entering, I'm sorry, I had to. We are entering this venue, uh, like we are entering the venue and Mark introduced me to Godfather community, as Godfather community, like this is it. So, take, so sorry for, for putting you on the slides. Yeah, go, no, 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 no. no uh, 
the, this is like the, I'll feel the end of, no, it's not, not, I have a lot of slides more. So, um, and that time I decided like the, based on the Portuguese community, I'm gonna start the one once I get back to Serbia. Uh, that happened, uh, that happened 2000, late 2013, maybe beginning of 14, we started with some um, workshops, some, uh, uh, I brought, uh, I brought uh, back uh, meetups, work camps, and I know that the only thing that I decided on that work camp is I'm gonna volunteer the next year. The work camp Europe 2014 was in Sofia, and at that time I decided that uh, I, will, I will volunteer, I will join the team. So um, we started again, we, uh, we had no uh, meetups at all in Serbia until 2013. I moved uh, to Oslo in March 2013. The first WordPress meetup was April 2013. I wasn't there. So for a year they waited and after that one, um, one year later, we started with, uh, work, uh, with first uh, official WordPress meetup. Now uh, we have six different cities holding the, uh, holding the regular WordPress meetups. And the, the thing that I'm super proud is the work camp that we organized. The first one that we organized was in 2015. And now when I see the photo uh, of the, all the organizers and volunteers, it's eight of us in total. Uh, the team we had in 2016 and 2017, just uh, last week, and now the team of organizers is 11, and we have 20 plus volunteers. So it's, it, it's growing, and that's really cool. Um, and why and how I, got this, uh, how I got this idea of giving this talk is like, um, people ask me like, why you do it? Why every one of us, these guys are volunteering, everyone is volunteering, and it was like super simple question that I got from a guy um, that he said like, why you do that? And it, it, it was strange for me like, yeah, but you know, we have this open source. And he's like, but why? And I couldn't answer the simple question like why? I was so energetic. He saw the, uh, the energy in people volunteering, 20 people wanting to do the photos, wanting to do the bottles, like serving lunch and stuff. And uh, I couldn't answer like, Okay, so let's start over. Uh, we have the community, we have the, the it, was, it was hard for me also to explain a uh, thing in, uh, um, in Serbia uh, that you can organize really good, great conference for 20, 20 bucks, let's say a ticket, and they still couldn't you know, get it. Like, and then how, how? I, couldn't, I couldn't explain the foundation, the, the WordPress foundation and everything behind us, so, um, that was the other question, I never sleep, so. Um, there was uh, this discussion we had once we applied to host Work Camp Europe. And uh, there was a guy with, uh, uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to apply to, to 2017 to host, uh, the one that is Paris right now. And uh, we went there for a meeting, and he said like, hey, why you do this? How come, like, what's the benefit? And stuff, so that's the first time that occurred, like, yeah, I need to, I need to um, talk about the community and our involvement, why we do that. Um, again, why? And that's the thing that he just wanted from us. How do you profit from that? Um, I don't know if it's in Portugal. I really hope so it's not. Uh, whenever you, uh, you try to organize something in Serbia uh, and you want to make a deal or you just want to, let's say, uh, organize the accommodation or you want to do something like, hey, I want to organize the accommodation for 2,000 people, everyone will say, okay, what's my cut in that? And I found out that, okay, so we are completely volunteering and we are doing this one completely, um, yeah, as a pro bono thing that we had on t-shirts this year. And everyone like, uh, want to do, uh, wanted to do, um, their, they wanted the, the, their piece of cake, let's say. And, um, I started explaining what are the benefits of you being here, of these people organizing this event. And when I started pulling like the bullet points, one by one, they started, like, oh, so you'll, you will learn a lot. Uh, you will meet a lot of people. Um, you will learn something new. And the most important part when I got to contributing back to the open source and the thing that we are doing for the WordPress, they were like, oh, now I get it. So that's the, that's the first time he actually stopped asking about the money and stopped 
I stopped asking about the cuts and stuff. So um, when I, while I was preparing the uh, presentation, uh, the, I wanted to do like the top five or top ten, top three benefits of uh, why are we doing this. And I saw only the, I don't know them by, by number, so I'm going to read it, like knowledge, like really strong words, like knowledge. You will learn a lot. Yes. Connections. Uh, on the opening remarks, I understood the part, the shaking part, like next to you. You will learn, uh, you will learn, you will have uh, a lot of new connections. Like inspiration, all the strong words, uh, resources, support. Support, let's support each other with this community stuff. And um, let's just go a little back. And my favorite guy, favorite movie guy is, of course, Rocky. Well, and it's not always um, sunshine and rainbows. Um, if you see um, people organizing the events, organizing the meetups, and running the communities uh, in your country, uh, please bury them. It's the, something that they're probably doing extra work. Um, and um, let me just go rocky. Uh, this photo, uh, this photo um, happened this uh, December. It's in Philadelphia. Uh, it was after the uh, stuff, uh, stuff, thank you for mentioning, yeah, had the knee surgery and uh, seven, I think seven days after that one or ten days, uh, we had a WordPress meetup in Belgrade and um, I, was, I was about to give a talk and I was, how do you call it in English? I, I don't know, the one that helps you move around, yeah, that one, I, 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 I didn't hear it, sorry. Um, so uh, I, was, uh, I, I was standing there and uh, everyone's like, so it's hundreds of them, asking like, man, like, are, are you serious that you actually, actually came to, 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 WordPress, to the WordPress meetup? So like, yeah, of course. I like, uh, my brother drove me and I was there like just you know, on one leg and all the things that happened in 2016 uh, resulted with this photo. So everything, all the work, extra work, Blah, blah, blah. Um, the one in company, the one in community, the one in the organizing work in Europe, it ended up with this photo. So um, another thing, like I, I, really, I really believe that motivation is garbage and uh, you don't need to wait for a motivation um, to something just happen so you can join or you can work on something or you can finish something, let's say. And uh, this is the link I'm gonna share, I'm gonna tweet about it, just so you know, you, there's a really cool video uh, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And um, through that 2016, through that surgery and through all the stuff, community helped. Community helped a lot. Uh, my closer friends know what happened, uh, all, all, all the other stuff, not so fun, uh, not so fun stuff, uh, helped. Um, they, they knew what I'm talking about. The involvement in the community, the support really helped, at least helped me. And um, contributing back helped. Uh, you're not, uh, you don't need to be tomorrow at Contributor Day to contribute to WordPress, you can do it from your home, and I did. Um, and there's another thing that I want to, I want to mention, it's the Delphi drama. I haven't seen uh, any talk on that, and that's the Ain't All uh, Sunshine and Rainbows thing, and um, sometimes uh, I was part of the Delphi drama, I was part of, uh, of it, and that wasn't fun. That's the part of our community which is, you know, a bit shaky. But um, as I said, like being the part of it, it's not fun at all. And that happens. Uh, if you don't know, there's like almost uh, every week something happening in our community, which uh, which I let's say don't like that much, and. Um, we will talk about it. And um, uh, I, I was um, just, I, I got the message, I got a message on Facebook from dear, dear friend, saying like, hey, just, you know, this guy is ripping you. Yeah, that was, that was Steve. Uh, ripping you on his blog. Um, I did, uh, uh, <laughs> I posted a review, just posted a review on the GoDaddy team, saying marking as the five stars. And the guy said like, hey, I'm the developer and I could not put the review and a lot of drama happened like for, for a whole week, Help, uh, happily. Uh, it, it lasted only for a week. And uh, there's a, another drama, I'm just gonna mention, go through all of them. 
uh, Team Mile. I'm the member of the uh, team review team, and I have a lot of friends in Team Mile. Um, also, that one 5% drama. Uh, those of you uh, longer in community know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to explain. And there's a lot of things going on there. And um, how the WordPress helped me shape uh, helped me shape my life. Um, I become more open. And the thing now when I think about the 2013 and my life before Norway and before meeting Marco and I know a lot of Portuguese friends and a lot of com guys from community, um, now I'm more open to pretty much everything. Um, the, I'm super proud of this photo and that it's something that we all share and we all have in the community. And this is why, uh, if it's needed to be like the extra, extra work for me, uh, I'll do it, like in the organizing, in the community, um, whatever. Um, and um, this is another photo that I would like to share today. Um, in 2013, uh, from Serbia, like I, I told, like it's only a couple of us, but that's the thing when we need to stop, and uh, we have a thing. We have a thing. In, you probably heard about Serbia uh, last 20 years uh, on news. Not so many good stuff, but this is the old uh, ex, let's say ex Yugoslavian republics, and all the leading organizers from their community. So in one photo, and as you can see, this is 2014. 2000, this is 2014, this is 2016. And we are growing, and I think that in, the, in Paris, it's going to be even more of us. So um, I started traveling more. That's a, um, that's, a really good, uh, that's a really good thing. I'm doing pretty much uh, the work camps, pretty much all the work camps, do all the work camps, you know? And um, yeah, uh, I know what not to ask the Portuguese. And I think that I learned. And uh, I know how to say cheers in many languages. But I also know how to say thanks, just so you know. It's not all about the parties. And the thing that I came up is the code is poetry, but heart is where the community is. And uh, the community is where the heart is, sorry. And um, I'm, 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 really, I'm really happy with the community and my involvement and all the stuff. And um, I'm so sad that uh, today, I'll be flying to San Francisco. I wanted to stay to the after party and everything, but I need to, uh, I need to uh, fly to San Francisco uh, for a week of work. Uh, so, uh, I'll, but I'll be coming back to Lisbon on 30th, I guess. So uh, we can share a drink or two, three, four, yeah. bottle, damn bottle. Yeah, so just to know, another reminder that we have uh, work in Europe, going on in Paris, and uh, you can find me, you can find me uh, on, on Twitter, Instagram, or wherever, and I'm doing all my talks, uh, I dedicate to uh, someone special, and this one is dedicated to my grandparents, uh, just so you know. Thank you so much. Obrigado, obrigado.